Coming up, this is 11-year-old Ethan Cho. He's not old enough to go to Glasgow just yet, but Ethan wants to be part of the Climate Solution hyper-locally. See what he's been up to in the lab in just seven minutes. An 11-year-old Fullerton student is sharing his passion for science with others. The chemistry whiz kid has his own YouTube channel and will soon take some college courses. Our Vicky Nguyen has the story. Smart one. Most of us learn about the periodic table of elements when we're in high school. I'm Vicky Nguyen in Fullerton, where there's a student in this school district who memorized the table when he was just in elementary school. And now he's sharing his passion for chemistry with the world. For many children in Ethan Cho's generation, protecting the environment is one of their top priorities. Fueled by his passion for chemistry, 11-year-old Ethan wants to be part of the solution for change. So if you use chemistry, you might be able to like convert the harmful stuff into totally harmless stuff, and sometimes even helpful stuff. Ethan says he's worried for kids even younger than himself, like his six-year-old brother, Ryan, who often joins him on his YouTube channel called Ethan's Laboratory, where he posts videos about AP chemistry and experiments. So I'm hoping that like people can watch some of my videos to know that chemistry can be, in a way, kind of simple, and that it can also be used for fun things. The Fullerton School District chose Ethan to be part of its Dream Captures program, an initiative to highlight students who are taking learning beyond the classroom to make an impact in their community. This week's subject is complexation, which the Cho brothers are demonstrating by giving their jack-o'-lantern a bloody look. The thiocyanate ions here and the iron 3 plus ions here they're bind together to form a complex ion, and it actually has a color that's similar to blood. His passion for breaking down the tough subject in a way for people to understand is inspiring his peers and his district superintendent, Dr. Bob Pletka. People underestimate our children and underestimate um, the great talents and skills that kids have. Ten students in the district were chosen to be part of the Dream Catchers program this school year. But Dr. Pletka says every student on his 20 campuses are special. If we can provide a way to empower them to provide those strengths and those assets, um, that in some ways that also is incredibly healing. It's also something very important, and it's something that builds a sense of confidence. While Ethan is getting attention from the district, he says his first grade co-star needs a spotlight, too. I think he's a very helpful partner, and that I'm really lucky to have him around. Ethan is set to attend some classes at Fullerton College in the spring. He wants to become an environmental chemist so he can tackle climate change. But his next experiment will be college. Following in his brother's footsteps, six-year-old Ryan is also interested in science. His favorite subject is college zoology. 